so understanding the first topic that is wholesalers so wholesalers sell to retailers or other merchants or individual institutionals and commercial users but they do not sell in significant amounts to the ultimate consumers that is they are the middlemen who generally operate between the manufacturer and the retailer and do not are, are not in direct contact with the end customer or the end user until a case wherein the end customer is a very big institutional buyer or big corporate house having said that let's understand what are the key functions or roles performed by the wholesalers the first and the most important role performed by wholesalers is that of assembling and buying that is assembling means bringing in the goods from different heads under one roof and under one title that is the most important function performed by the wholesalers that is to bring the goods from different places and locations under one roof and buy it under one particular head from the manufacturer or the dealer the second function of the wholesaler is that of warehousing and storage this function typically takes care of creation of the time utility that is providing the goods at the time when they are required and not throughout the year or as and when the manufacturer or seller is ready with the product warehousing and storage hence means buying the goods from the manufacturer taking care of them storing it in the right form so that they do not have any kind of damages or adulteration and providing it to the consumer as and when at the time the consumer requires it the third point being transportation this point takes care of the creation of place utility that is providing the goods at the right place or the place wherein the consumer requires it as we've already spoken earlier for example timber and wood are available in the forest area however their usage is in the city prime areas where the construction takes place or the industrial houses are there this function cannot be fulfilled without the transportation function transportation basically takes care of flowing or movement of goods from one place to another primarily from the manufacturer to the end consumer with the retailer in between this function is primarily the main function of the wholesaler the next point being risk bearing that is there are various kinds of risks which are involved with business with regards to the change in price damages in the products adulteration or simply the change in the preferences or the demands of the customers such risks are generally borne by the wholesalers since the wholesaler takes into consideration the warehousing the storage and the transportation function the risk bearing with regards to all these functions also becomes a prerogative for the wholesaler the next function being that of financing that is providing credits to the retailers since the manufacturer is into bulk purchase and into bulk manufacturing he or she is not in a position to provide credit hence here the position or the function of financing is taken care by the wholesaler the wholesaler buys goods from the manufacturer and then as per the needs and the convenience of the retailers provides them on credit the next being providing marketing information since wholesalers play a very instrumental role in connecting the manufacturer with the retailers they are the prime people who can provide with the right amount of marketing information to the manufacturer or to the seller the next being grading packaging into the right size shape and different ways of containers etc the manufacturer generally produces bulk amount and directly dispatches that entire amount to the wholesaler's place from there on grading the goods packaging it as per different container sizes and packages as per the requirements of the consumer is a function performed by the wholesaler and finally the last function of b dispersing and selling that is movement from the warehousing or the storage places of the wholesaler to that of the retailer store is that again a function of the wholesaler having said that let's understand the various types of wholesalers they be firstly merchant wholesalers general wholesalers specialty wholesalers that is yet again have two categories within them the dropship wholesalers online wholesalers so in total we basically have 
six types of wholesalers. Let's understand each one of this in further detail. The first being merchant wholesalers. These wholesaler suppliers own and produce a product or service and resell their products to the resellers, retailers, distributors and other wholesalers. That is, if you can buy the products you require direct from the supplier, you will usually be able to obtain the best prices and the best profit margin. The second being general wholesalers. Wholesalers that fall into this category will usually buy large quantity of products from one or more suppliers and will be intending to add value to them by reselling them in smaller quantities to the distributors, retailers and resellers. This type of wholesaler supplier will often have multiple suppliers adding diversity to their product range and choice for their customers. This type of wholesaler may resell products from a number of different industries and in several different categories. This is where the assembling and the storage function really comes into play. The third being specialty wholesalers. Specialty wholesalers will resell the products in a specific industry or product category but may have products from multiple suppliers. Because specialty wholesalers specialize in a specific industry or product type, they tend to have good product knowledge and good pricing. Hence, they come with good product information and have a very good negotiation power with regards to that particular product or industry. They can even become the price masters here because they are the specialized agencies for that particular industry products. The next being specific product wholesalers. These are the wholesalers who only supply one type of product. As the name says, specific product, for example, footwear or computers, etc. They may supply several brands but only within one product category. Manufacturers often use this type of wholesalers to distribute one or more of their products. The next being discount wholesalers. This type of wholesalers will supply significantly discounted stock. Generally, the stock is discounted because the products are discontinued lines, returned goods or refurbished goods. That is, they are either in some ways damaged, adulterated or probably not required by the market anymore. Hence, the goods are provided in real reduced and discounted prices to the retailers. The next being dropship wholesalers. This type of wholesalers will complete the sale of a product but will have it dispatched from their suppliers directly to the customers without actually handling the goods. That is, they do not take the physical possession or the delivery of the goods but only play a very important role in enhancing the flow of the goods from the manufacturer of the product that is the supplier to the customer who can be the retailer or who becomes the institutional buyer. And finally, the next one is the online wholesalers. Wholesalers who sell their products online offer discounted prices as they can reduce their overheads such as rents and rates of physical premises. This type of wholesaler is therefore able to add a lower percentage to their purchase prices and still make a margin. This type of online wholesalers are in a boom and a very recent concept wherein we see when the products same same products are available online at a much cheaper prices wherein in compared to the same product being offered by a wholesaler store or a retailer store in an actual store which we have to walk in. The whole reason where the cost can be reduced here is the types of rent and the physical premises rates which the wholesalers can easily cut out over here. Having said that, just to understand, there are basically seven types of wholesalers, that is the merchant wholesalers, general wholesalers, specialty wholesalers, specific product wholesalers, discount wholesalers, dropship wholesalers and finally the online wholesalers.